Hey guys, it's Molly and today I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing. I got this in the mail today as well as my Ipsy unbagging. Not sure which one's going to go up. You guys will already have known. Um, but yeah, if you are not aware of what BoxyCharm is, it is another monthly subscription where you pay $21 a month and you get, I think it's 4 to 5 or 5 to 6 full size products. Um, sent to your door and I think it's pretty awesome. Sometimes you also get like a coupon code thrown in the box for a certain product um, and I think it's awesome. If you were to only subscribe to one subscription box I definitely would recommend it be BoxyCharm. So I will leave a link down below in the description box if you wanted to sign up. None of the codes in the description box are affiliate links by the way. They are um, my referral links so like if you use it I get like points um I don't get money from it I ain't I'm not big enough for that yet but all my links are always referral links which like if you sign up you will get one too so everybody has these links so you don't have to use it if you don't want to <laughs> if you are new make sure to subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time that I upload I do hauls story times tutorials unboxings pretty much anything so if you're into any of that then definitely subscribe and without further ado, let's see what's inside this month's boxy charm. So I do want to say this month's box is a lot smaller than what it usually is. Like, like I think they got new boxes or something. Um, but I mean that's okay. Um, I also want to say this month's box isn't going to be a surprise for me because I did cheat and I did look. Um, I watched a lot of boxy charm unboxings, which. I hate when I do that, but I accidentally went on the BoxyCharm Instagram um, because they have a limited edition box out. I'm um, not sure if they're still selling them or if they're sold out, um, but I originally went on that Instagram to see if they had said anything about the limited edition box, and I saw the spoilers, so I kind of ruined it for myself. Um, but if you don't know what the um, limited edition box is, it's $44.95, I believe. I did purchase it. Um, so there will be a video up on that. But if you don't know what it is, it's a limited edition box. Um, there's going to be eight products in it, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if you can still order it or not. When you log into your BoxyCharm account on like a, um, a computer, it shows up. Um, so yeah, if it's still there, you obviously can buy it. If it's not, I am super sorry. So as always, when you lift it, it says BoxyCharm. And we have the card on top. Mine got a little bent, but that's okay. <laughs> so this month's theme is sweater weather. And then right here, they always have like giveaways going on where you can win boxy charms um, with products worth over $400. Um, and then the back, it shows all the products that you get and the prices. So as we unbox, I'll tell you the prices of everything. And then at the end, I will tell you the overall box value. Everything in the box should retail for over $100. So that's also another plus with this subscription. You're getting a value for the price you pay. So when we open it up, we see all the products inside. So I'm just gonna go by the list. The first thing in this month's box is this. It is the Lexi Quad Eye Travel Set, which is in collaboration with BoxyCharm since it has the little BoxyCharm logo on it. This travel set retails for $32 and it says, take your eye game on the go with this quad travel set created with handcrafted synthetic bris brushes, not bristles. <laughs> so all of the brushes come individually wrapped. Um, I'll tell you the brushes that we get. I also will do close-ups because I always do. So we have the Luxie 227T, which looks like um, more of a, I guess, blender type brush. People have been comparing it to the MAC 217. I don't own that brush, so I have no idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. Uh, what the heck is an idea? Next, we have the Luxie 221T, which is like a flat kind of liner brush. You could use it to smudge underneath your um, lash line or use it to do eyeliner. We have the Luxie 213T, which is more of a shader brush. And the last brush we have is the Luxie 207, which is like an angled brush. And I do happen to have the full size. I think I got this in an Ipsy. So just to compare the size. 
Okay. Um, these are them feral to feral. This is how much um, handle you're missing. The pinks are actually a shade different. I don't know if my camera will pick that up very well. Um, but these smaller travel size brushes are more of a hot pink. So you get these four brushes. I think that's awesome. Um, you can use it to travel. If you don't use it for traveling, they definitely would get like lost um, in like your brush cup. So I wish that they were all full size and they came in a set, but this is great just for traveling. I don't travel much, but for those who do, you can just take this with you and go. There is also a little coupon code on the back of this box. So it's, you get 25% off if you use the code QUAD25. I'll put that on the screen and I'll leave it in the description box for you guys. Um, I think you get 20% off your entire order, but I'm not sure. So there's a little coupon code for you guys. The next thing on the list that the card has for us is the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray, which is insane. Um, it says it is a quick drying setting spray that sets makeup for all day wear and imparts instant all over illumination. It's alcohol free so it's not drying to the skin. Perfect for all skin tones and types and this retails for $31. Um, I have not tried this out. The only thing I have from Cover Effects is this little um, primer um, that I liked. So it says shake well before use. So let's take her out. Um, the packaging has like an opal, like iridescence to it. I'm not sure if my camera is going to pick it up or not. Probably not. Um, and it, I was going to say, it has a shaker in it. Um, mine was stuck for a second. But you really have to shake the crap out of this before you use it because it has little illuminating particles in it. And if you don't, you're just going to get glitter all over your face. So that's why the box tells you to shake well before you use. So we're just going to give it a... I'm going to shake it. You probably didn't have to shake it up that much, but I watched Kathleen Light's unbox this and she said you really need to shake it a lot. So let's test out the sprayer. Ooh. Do you guys see that? It's like a super fine mist. I'm going to spray some on my hand just to see. And we're going to let that dry. See if there's any illumination to it. So there definitely are a lot of sparkles in this. I doubt my camera is really going to pick this up. Maybe. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but there is a lot of sparkle. So if you have oily skin or you don't really just like to have a whole lot of glitter on your face, you're probably not going to like that. Um, probably a little will go a long way to prevent a lot of glitter. I usually don't really like a lot of glitter on my face besides like the highlight that I put. Um, but I will give this a try, obviously, because you never know unless you really try it. But that's was awesome that we got it in the box. The next thing on the list is this Winky Lux Kitten Palette, which again is in collaboration with BoxyCharm because it has the little BoxyCharm logo. So this retails for $25. It says, these ultra soft shadows glide on like a dream. The universally flattering collection of shades makes this palette as lovable as a kitten. It features highly pigmented shadows in four finishes, holographic, matte, satin, and glitter. So obviously this is super cute because it has little tiny kittens all over it, which is so cute. And then the back shows the colors and then the names. Um, let's see, is there a coupon code on this? Not seeing one. I so this palette is cruelty free, paraben free, and gluten free for those who have allergies or you know don't want um, to use products tested on animals. So let's give this a look. There is no mirror, but that doesn't bother me because I usually just use my makeup mirror to do my makeup in. But these are what all of these shadows look like. They're super pretty. This blue one looks so pretty. Um, 
so I'm definitely going to insert swatches of everything for you guys so you guys can get an idea of how these look on the skin um yeah this sh this shade right here also looks super pretty it's like one of those shifting shades it looks like a pink with like green shift to it definitely a very pretty palette um and I love how cute it is. It's actually, I mean, it's not huge, but it's it's like a decent sized palette. So, and the pans are pretty, pretty standard size. So, I can't wait to see how these swatch and how they perform. So, the next thing on our list is this. It is the Laka, L-A-Q-A, Laka and Co. Cloud Lips. This retails for $17.00. It says, an airy matte lipstick that provides full coverage but feels as light as a cloud. This highly pigmented lipstick has a matte finish for long-lasting fluffy pouty lips that stay put. Okay, so I have um, some lip gloss on my lips. Let's just uh, take that off real quick. And we will try this on our lips. Um, it's in the shade Storm, like that said, I think. No, probably not. Okay, let's open it. Oh! very dark but I have seen swatches and it looks very pretty when it's swatched I don't want to ruin it though it looks so pretty okay so I'll swatch it on my hand quick and then I will put it on my lips Ooh, I love these type of berry shades so I am very excited to try this I'm gonna get it off my hand quick though cuz I it's gonna stain and it already did okay <laughs> People at work tomorrow are going to be like, girl, what is wrong with your hand? So I'm just going to apply this real quick to see how it looks on the lips and how it wears. Okay, so this is a very pretty color, but it is really patchy and kind of hard to apply because um, it has like a fatter applicator, if that makes sense. Um, so it was kind of hard for me to apply. You definitely need a lip liner for this though. Um, it is bleeding just like a smidge on me. Mm. I mean, you probably could get away with not using a lip liner, but it probably would help a lot. Um, in the application but it is a very pretty color I do like it I do like these shades on me um, but yeah, and it, the feeling it does feel like I'm not wearing anything so the cloud kind of thing they got going on is true and the packaging is gorgeous so and then we have three more things one more thing in the box um, so these are the KNC Beauty Collagen Lip Masks. These retail for $15. It says, innovative jelly mask for your lips that hydrates, moisturizes, and plump your pout with natural ingredients. So you get three of them, so I'm pretty sure it's a three for $15. Um, I don't really do lip masks. Um, very rarely do I even do really face masks. It says, apply to clean lips for 15 to 20 minutes. Recommended use for two to three times a week. Safe to use every day. Um, okay, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll at least try one. I mean, if I don't like it, then I have two others that I can give away to people. Um, but yeah, I mean, I kind of like my lips how they are. I don't feel like they're really missing anything or they need any help, but this is cool. And they feel really weird, like, in the packaging. But that was everything we got in this month's BoxyCharm. I think that it was pretty good. We got another palette. We got a full-size setting spray, a lip product, some lip masks, and then the travel set of brushes. I think it was pretty good. Once again, if you guys want to subscribe to BoxyCharm, I will leave the link down below so you guys can do that. I definitely recommend it. I think it's pretty good. Um, like, one of the best subscriptions that are out there. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please give this video a humongous thumbs up so I can know. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time that I upload. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, 
and also requests. Leave them all down below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Also, all my social media will be linked down below. My Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and now my beauty only Instagram will be linked down below. So if you guys don't follow me on anything, then definitely do that. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Oh